You guys, we're in Milwaukee. We're figuring it out today. We're here in the studio. Nick is here. Nick flew out from Los Angeles for this. Opa, manja, italiana, pizza. Are you Italian? No. Nick has white hair and gray eyes. Are you Italian? So today we are in Milwaukee, we're on tour, and I'm very excited because we're gonna be revealing some new products from Trixie Cosmetics. Today we have some new blush items, and we also have our brand new line of brushes. So if you're excited to see some new stuff, we're gonna have a true QVC moment. We have a bunch of brushes to look at here, and we have our brand new Trixie Sticks blushes. So let's get into it. Let's start with blushes, shall we? I mean. If you're new to this company, if you're new to this channel, I'm obsessed with blush. I think everyone should pretty much cover their whole body in blush every single day. So it's no surprise to anyone that we are venturing into cream blush products. So I love cream blushes. I love liquid blushes. I love all types of ways to apply blushes. At Trixie Cosmetics, we have tons of very exciting powder blush products, and it's time to unveil a cream, a cream blush product. This product is called Trixie Sticks. So cute, so cool, so innovative, special, nice, and new. This is one of my favorite pieces of packaging we've ever done, side note. It's just so beautiful. These blushes are gonna come in five shades, and this is a little behind, like inside baseball, inside the actor's studio. This is our most custom formula that we have at Trixie Cosmetics. There is nothing like this because this formula was invented from the ground up for this product. I kind of originally thought of it because I ended up using Stacy lipstick from our makeup company as blush a lot. And I was like, well, let's do like a heart-shaped cream blush, right? So then I found this component that's a heart, right? It looks like our lipsticks, but when you open it, the product twists up in the shape of a heart. Isn't that cute? I love a cream blush. Why, you ask? When I worked at the makeup counters all those years ago, people would always be afraid of cream blush, and I always wondered why. Because a lot more can go wrong with powder blush than can go wrong with cream blush. Cream blush, I mean, you just need your fingertip in a dream to make it happen. And cream blushes are often also lip approved, so you have a product that's lip and cheek. I mean, come on, this is really like a convertible item. The great thing about cream blushes too is, cream blushes are so functional for any type of skin tone. No matter what your complexion, cream blushes tend to really marry to the pigments in your skin and kind of create a blush for you on the fly. I just love cream blushes and I think that they get a weird reputation because they can be intimidating. But I'm gonna show you today how really like falling off a makeup log they can be. So a little bit of science here. We formulated these from the ground up and they have some exciting ingredients that I'm very boastful to tell you about here. It has plum seed oil in it, which is nourishing, hydrating. It's a protectant to the skin. Trixie sticks have vitamin E acetate, which improves elasticity. It smooths, it softens. It's very hydrating to the skin. So especially if you're somebody who has very textured skin, this is very hydrating. This product is also built with a polymer microsphere that kind of shatters and breaks up the light a little bit. So even if you're like me, I have pretty textured skin. I'll be vulnerable about it here on the channel. I like this product because it does not enhance texture. So we're gonna start with the five shades here. The first shade we're gonna look at is called Baby. Hi, I'm Baby. So this shade is a very breathy, soft, cloudy, muted, cool beige pink. Very universally flattering, very applicable to all different types of makeup. I would say this is, of many of the shades, the most like absolutely user-friendly. If you're 13 years old and your mom's buying you your first piece of makeup, this could be the product. It's very much a vibe, let's see. Now that's really swiped on and you can see it has kind of a cool gray pink, so it's very muted. I mean, all the cream blushes, they just, they buff in and build out, look at that. Hi. And what I like about these two is we did so many trials of this formula. The first formula was too stiff, the second one was too soft, the third one was wet, it never felt like it really dried down. The next one was too dry to begin with. I mean, we really had to find how can it be soft and cushy and fluid when it applies, and how can it dry down to something totally lifelike? And I think we did a really beautiful job. These have almost like a gel blush translucency, but I find stick cream blushes so easy to work with. Isn't that great? I'm just gonna redo this swatch again so that we have it. Beautiful, I mean, I love this one. It's just, it's really, really pretty. Up next we have Pumpkin. Bye, Pumpkin. Pumpkin is just orange, okay? Pumpkin is just straight up orange cream blush. And you know, on this channel, we stand orange blush. One of our top selling products at Tracy Cosmetics of all time is the Mod About You blush palette because orange blush is really the most universally flattering blush color. Are you ready for this? I mean, it's really like, 
orange. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that pretty though? It's translucent, it's breathy, it's glassy. I mean, the pigment itself is orange, but the way it can be built and sheared out, it's a very like fluid orange experience. Up next, we have Dollface. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is my personal favorite. I mean, this one really is like a dream house pink blush. This is a high key, hot pink, hot pink blush. But I think there's something so beautiful about like clean brows, clean skin, clean lashes, and then like, like I'm wearing blush. I make a product like this for those bitches who are like, yes, I wear blush and I wear a lot of it. This color is really amazing. You're not ready. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's so pretty. And again, this formula, it glides on, it blends in, and then it dries down to a very glassy, translucent kind of smooth finish. I mean, they have like a mattifying effect once they're, they're on. Up next, we have Sweetie. Sweetie is a subdued, endlessly wearable, very soft. It's a precious moments blush story is really what it is. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I mean, it's definitely more of a rosy, a little bit Bobbi Brown, very kind of classic pink blush color without being like these other ones, which are very bright. So pretty. Imagine this on somebody just like on the high planes of their face, just right up on here. And finally, we have Angel, which ironically is kind of the most like flashy. I don't want to say slutty because sluts come in all different shapes and sizes. But this one is so beautiful. It's kind of a wine, kind of a plummy, very romantic. This is a little bit gothy, a little bit edgy, very glam. And it's like a true plum purple, which, oh my God, on deep skin or like kind of middle skin tones, like a plum blush is so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. And even on fair skin, I've worn this. These blend out to very sheer layers. So on fair skin, you could wear this really thin, like kind of Victorian, like just bloody kiss cheeks, or you could build it up to a really romantic, like blush all over your head kind of look. So Trixie Sticks come in five shades to start. You never know. We might get wild and make other ones, holiday ones. You never know. These retail at $16 a piece and I think they're really great. And one of my favorite things about them is that these are all lip approved. So in addition to putting them on your cheeks, they're also able to just pop on the lip and then you can do like a low maintenance monochromatic walk of shame kind of fantasy. And with the right blush, there is no walk of shame. Trixie sticks are paraben free, gluten free, cruelty free, and totally vegan. They're vegan free. They're not made with vegans. I love blush and I love blush in all iterations. And honestly, I know that a lot of people who watch the channel are like, I love watching this, but I don't wear a lot of makeup. This is really fun packaging, but these are really built to do really beautiful, low maintenance, gorgeous looks. I wear them in drag. I love them. However, these are made for real people to put on quickly and look great and, and be very flattering. So can't wait to see what you whores do. So the great thing about these blushes is they can be applied with a fingertip. They can be applied with a sponge or a brush. Now, Trixie Cosmetics, we have had one blush uh, for the past, I think it came out a year ago. This is kind of our shaped contouring blush brush. And this was our first brush we ever did. And it's time to unveil the rest of the brushes. We have 12 other brushes joining the lineup at Trixie Cosmetics. Now, if you go to my house, if you go in my makeup room, I am obsessed with brushes. Even when I was a working makeup artist or a very young drag queen and I didn't have like a lot of funds, brushes to me were always worth their weight in gold because the right tools can change a makeup experience entirely. So I knew when I launched brushes, they had to be beautifully packaged, very high quality, and they have to do the job as well as artistry brushes, but be very cute. I mean, some of my favorite brushes in my collection are just black, they're just gray, they're just chrome, whatever. And I wanted my brushes to be something that you'd be really proud to have sitting out on your vanity. Everybody's seen this brush. Many of you have this brush. This was our first brush we did at Trixie Cosmetics. Super high density. This was kind of marketed, such a weird word, marketed with our blush palette, but this is actually one of my favorite brushes for liquid foundation, believe it or not. If you already have this brush, try with liquid foundation. It will gag you. So in addition to this fabulous brush, which we've had for forever, we have 12 other brushes here and I'm just gonna work big to small because everybody's makeup routine is different. Everybody's brush collection is different. We have each of these brushes available for individual purchase or we have a way for you to get them all. So let's just start at the top. All right, so the first brush I'm gonna show you is the stippling brush. I think I've actually used this in videos right under your nose and then I watch the footage and go, oh, you're actually using a product that has not come out yet. If you go back and watch like the last 10, 15 videos, you'll see me using pink brushes in all the videos and I just didn't say anything because I didn't think about it. 
because I don't plan, because I don't pay attention. This brush, this is like the airbrush brush. This is great for dusting off finishing powder. This is great for stippling on liquid foundation. I even take this and I pinch it and make a fan brush sometimes. Brushes like this just get so much airtime because I can use them for so many things. And I'm really proud of ours because it's very, very soft, very high density. And I mean, look at the gorgeous, Trixie handle, just so pretty. This brush is $12, which I think is a really good deal. I have stippling brushes for triple that. So this is a beautiful brush, you guys. If you're gonna get one brush from this whole lineup, I honestly think no matter what kind of makeup you wear, this brush will get a lot of airtime in your life, okay? All right, we wouldn't be Trixie Cosmetics without, yes, another tool to apply blush. So this is our blush brush. It's different than our last blush brush because our last one, as you can see, is a very dense, angled shape. This blush brush is more of a tapered bulb and it's a little less dense. It's just a lighter hand than this brush. But like a good blush brush that does not shed, you could apply bronzer with this. A brush like this is always extremely useful. And by the way, I have to say, I mean, these brushes, you guys come in the most beautiful packages I've ever seen. Like, look at the box for the stippling brush. I'm sorry. Look how beautiful these are. I'm just gonna say it. I don't wanna call anybody out. When I buy brushes, I get plastic, uh, brush and clear plastic. These come in a box. Does this look like toothpaste or something? I love it. The artist who did the boxes really snapped. I'm just gonna say it. I think these are the most beautiful brush packaging I've ever seen in my life. It is, okay? All right, so up next we have our angled detail buffer brush. I had to make a brush like this because a brush like this is so hard to come by. I have a few brushes like this from other companies and I'm always hoarding them and hunting them because I find brushes like this so useful. I mean, let's say you're me. You use brushes like this to contour your nose, press white powder under your eyes, work under your brow bone, but let's say you're you, a human woman with two kids who's just trying to get to her shift at Carl Jr's. This is so great for blending out liquid concealer under the eye. It's great for doing spot treatments on blemishes. It's super high density. It feels like the foot of like a baby deer. It's so soft and so dense. And tools like this are really hard to come by. I am not here for limp brushes. This brush like is, is made to do something. Okay, I know they said that every brush so far is my favorite. This one, I use this every single day to get in drag. I use this brush every single day to get in drag. This is a large, super large shader brush. I mean, look at this sucker. It's huge. This is so big and pillowy, but it has so much body that it really applies product and pushes product when you're trying to blend. You can see all this kind of shadow section I do. I take this exact brush every day and I just press and it sticks perfectly. Be the brush maker that you wish to see in the world. And I wanted to make a brush that I honestly feel like there's there's a famine of giant eyeshadow brushes like this. And I know that I have giant eye makeup and maybe that partially informed it. But what am I doing here with a makeup company if not offering my point of view on what brushes are important? And I think a big shadow brush like this is really fabulous. The next brush is kind of an essential. This is our flat blending brush. It's like a domed blendy crease brush, but it's rounded. It's more of a buffing shape. It's not like a long thin shape. I'm gonna say this, if you are somebody who wants one shadow brush, you want one eyeshadow brush, this is the brush for you. You can do entire eye looks with just this brush, I'm telling you. I mean, there's a reason why when you get like a wedding makeup artist or something, or you're backstage, makeup artists will have a dozen of a brush like this because they're extremely, extremely multi-purpose. Up next, this is kind of the cousin of the last brush. This is a tapered blending brush. So the last one was more flat, more stiff, more dome shaped. This one's gonna be longer and thinner. I mean, you could use this for a lot of things. I like brushes like this for highlighter, on the apex of the cheek. I like brushes like this for the crease. Beautiful. These brushes are perfect. They are perfect. And we've been able to make them at a lower price point than I thought. So we're able to offer them to you at a really beautiful low price point. I might regret it. If these all sell out overnight, I'm gonna be like, damn, I should have done $8, but that's on me. I'm gonna have to send a strongly worded email saying, who priced these? And they're gonna go, you did. And I'm gonna go, oh, okay. Up next is a pencil brush. I mean, this is kind of a classic. I think. Everybody either has a brush like this or should have a brush like this. This is great for precision. I love using this in the tear duct, under the brow bone. I also love taking a gel liner and dipping this in a gel eyeliner and then using the gel eyeliner to tight line with. It's super precise. This brush is just gonna help you customize more of your looks. 
All right, we're back to the basics here. This is a small packer brush. You can't do makeup without a brush like this. I mean, you need a lid sized packing brush to apply color to the eye. This brush is kind of a one-two punch with something like a tapered blending brush where you have one brush to apply color and one brush to move the color once it's applied. I mean, if you're a normal sized person with normal eyelids and you're not like me, basically drawing the Nike swish on your head every day. This is a really important tool. I think sometimes when I used to work in makeup and help people do makeup, people were very frustrated by the products and they weren't ever realizing that the tools were frustrating them. Without the right tools, you might as well not have great makeup at all. I would actually say that having okay makeup products and fabulous brushes, you'll actually be a lot better off. All right, up next, this is, I mean, I've never said this before in this video. This is my favorite brush. I nut for this brush, you guys. As you can see, every day I draw these brows on and every day I have to go around with liquid or cream concealer and I have to build the shape of the brow. I use this brush every single day. I used it this morning to draw on my forehead. I use this brush to draw on the sides of my nose. This is a big, flat, synthetic concealer brush, but you could use it for face painting, body painting. This is a great brush for applying primer, cutting your crease. A tool like this will never go out of style. This is really an amazing concealer brush though. And because it's bigger and flatter, it's almost almost like a mini foundation brush. It makes very quick work of concealer. Up next, we have like the little sister to the last brush. This is a small concealer brush because there are some areas I have a blemish, like a permanent mole on the side of my nose I like to cover. And I love having a little tool to just I mean, a precision brush like this, the more into makeup you get, the more you're gonna be looking at your makeup and going, I wanna get in that area and do something very specific. And the more specific tools you have like this, the happier you'll be. If I was in my 20s and I was like a young makeup artist and I could get brushes this quality at $7, I would have had an easier life. I would have looked less crazy for longer. But maybe I grew character. All right, up next, this is my favorite brush. <laughs> I mean, this one is the T. I go through a lot of angled liner brushes because I use it for my black liner, I use it for drawing on lashes, and I use angled brushes like this to draw my brows on every single day. If you get close to my eyebrows, it's a lot of detail work. It's a lot of vertical line work, kind of like little microblading, and you cannot do that without a brush that looks and acts like a miniature box cutter. This thing is so angled and so sharp and so precise. It gives me perfect lines. And because it's built well and it's synthetic, you can wash it without the brush going Pfft. I'm telling you, when we got this brush and I settled on this one, when I got it and I realized the quality of it, I think I stole 10 from the warehouse. There's some products in makeup where you feel like you really let the hose know. We let the girls know with this brush. It's so beautiful. I think this is one of the best angle brushes there is. So lastly, we have the small flat definer brush, which is basically a flat little stamping brush like this. I use this brush a lot. I use this brush to sketch my black liner shape. I use it to press black shadow into my liquid liner. The flat edge just makes it really easy to get clean, even application. I actually use this brush, honestly, to correct mistakes more than I use it to apply products. So when I have really asymmetrical lips, really asymmetrical brows, if you're new to this channel, I love asymmetry apparently, because I never have a face that matches the other side. How am I today? Let's see. Let's just leave that bang there. Let's just let that side be a mystery, okay? This is just an essential tool. And there's no better way to store your brushes than a brush canister. And at Trixie Cosmetics, of course, we do not come empty handed. We created the most beautiful heart-shaped brush canister that looks exactly like our Stacey lipstick. And I, left it at my home in Los Angeles. So we're gonna throw up a picture here. We've done like three prototypes of this one and I really think we've perfected it. It's beautiful. And when all your brushes sit in it and you cover it up, it looks like you have a giant Trixie Cosmetics lipstick sitting on your vanity. It's so pretty. I use a lot of brush canisters and we were like, can we make a heart shaped one? And if we can, can we make it like pleather? And can we make it the same shape as our lipstick? And I, I just can't believe how good it turned out. I'm obsessed with it. All right, so you can get all of these brushes a la carte, right? Cause maybe you have a collection and you're like, I already have this, but I need another one of these. Or you wanna experience some of these weirder ones like the giant cat paw brush. I mean, I think everybody should get this. You can get all of these brushes individually or you can get the entire set as like a master bundle for $110, which actually saves you 20 bucks. So it's a pretty good deal. Watch, I'm gonna have to go in and add voiceover of me changing the prices to these brushes because these, these prices are crazy. They are crazy. So just to recap, you can get any of our 13 brushes or the whole set and a brush canister, or you can check out any of our five brand new Trixie Stick 
cream blushes at our website at trixiecosmetics.com this Wednesday. As usual, I'm extremely proud of everything we make and in this case, there is no exception. I stand by every single product here from the packaging to the product itself to the price point. And I'm, I'm so happy you guys will be applying makeup using these tools. Good tools are so worth it and nobody is more enthusiastic about cream blush than me. Okay? Okay. Goodbye.